The pectoralis major has two heads. The clavicular head inserts on the medial half of the clavicle, and the sternocostal head inserts on the sternum and the seven costal cartilages, which you can see on the other side. The pectoralis major inserts on the humerus, and the action of the pectoralis major is to flex, adduct, and medially rotate the arm at the shoulder joint. You can see the pectoralis minor muscle on this side. It would be normally concealed by the overlying pectoralis major, but the pectoralis major muscle is not shown on this side of this model. The pectoralis minor muscle has origins on the second, third, fourth, and fifth ribs and inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula. The action of the pectoralis minor muscle is to depress the tip of the shoulder and to protract the scapula. There are 11 pairs of external intercostal muscles between the ribs. We're just going to take a closer look at this one right over here. So right over here you can see the external intercostal muscle. You can see that when it is viewed from the lateral side, the fibers pass anterior inferiorly. The fibers have an origin on the edge of the rib above and inserts on the superior surface of the rib below. The, the external intercostals elevate the ribs and these muscles are most active during inspiration. Closer to the sternum, in the what is called the parasternal region, you can see the internal intercostals and they'll extend all the way to the back over here to the angle of the ribs. The internal intercostals will also have an origin on the upper rib and insert on the superior surfaces of the lower ribs. You can see that the fibers of the internal intercostals are oriented in a posterior inferior direction. And so these fibers are going to kind of crisscross the fibers of the external intercostals. The internal intercostals are going to depress the ribs and they are going to be most active during expiration. And right over here we can see the serratus anterior muscle. The serratus anterior muscle has an origin on the lateral surfaces of the upper eight to nine ribs and inserts on the costal surface of the medial border of the scapula. The serratus anterior muscle protracts the scapula and rotates the scapula upward. 